guys, it's Sarah from All Going Best Ladies. So the market's been very sideways, up and down, green, red. It's quite boring right now, I would say. But um, what I want to talk about is one of the coins that's been doing quite a lot of boom in the news recently, and that being Zcash. So I'm going to basically do a summary of why Zcash has been doing what it's been doing and what's been going on with it. So Zcash is currently 23 on coin market cap with a market cap below 1 billion and it's currently trending at $238. So it all started off with the Winklevoss brothers, which are the co-founders of Gemini, the US-based cryptocurrency exchange, had recently announced that Zcash will also be included in their list. As Gemini has received approval from the New York Department of Financial Services, it became the first cryptocurrency exchange with a license to trade Zcash. After this announcement, obviously the price of Zcash surged significantly and the market cap had went up to almost one and a half billion from what I remember um, and the users could basically start trading Zcash from 22nd of May. Uh, the focus for the Gemini team is on coexistence of Bitcoin and Zcash on the platform. One reason for adding Zcash, as Taylor Winklevoss has said, Zcash picks up where Bitcoin left off. Bitcoin has many strengths but privacy is not one of them. Privacy protection features of Zcash are another reason for the Winklevoss brothers to choose the crypto coin. In the beginning, the traders can basically choose to pair Zcash with Dollar, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So the other thing is the ASIC mining. And basically, Zcash allowing ASIC mining can take Zcash to new heights and even has the power to decrease the weight of this cryptocurrency. And this is because there are many who had predicted that Zcash will follow the direction of Monero and will choose a lower hash rate. But the effect of ASIC mining did not go this way. Rather, the price action of Zcash had shown an uptrend. Even as the projection of the Zcash network had been criticized by the Monero community, the rest of the cryptocurrency world, including Vitalik Buterin himself and Salem Rashid, which is a basically a um, hardware wallet expert, had praised Zcash moves. And from the official announcement of Zcash, it basically says that in the short term, they consider it's critical to protect the community, members who are building the ecosystem with them. And if it's necessary, based on their evaluation of the ASIC on the system, they will hire a developer to construct and submit a zip to mitigate its effect on the network. If the Zcash core development team an opportunity approves, it will ideally be de deployed by late 2018. So even as these discussion within the Zcash community had caused a little slide in the market, the crypto coin did not really see a drastic fall. Its appeal lies in solid technology, and this may be one of the reasons for the improvement in price action. So I've already mentioned Vitalik Buterin here, but there is another sort of support that he has shown. It's a platform for Zcash that Vitalik had supported the crypto during the arguments regarding its centralized nature. So basically, Vitalik Buterin had an argument over Twitter that if a person was looking for a high privacy demanding use case, then decentralization would be a luxury to him. It is sufficient to have right cryptography centralized systems for transactions and he basically, he continued to say that Zcash's confidentiality guarantees are stronger than its survival guarantees. And there is actually a very interesting thing about Zcash, is that when it was first released, it started an enormous hype. And it was traded over $4,000, as you guys can see. And then it went down to below 100 and now it's currently trading on $246, like we said. So it's interesting to see how much a hype can actually do to a price point of the coin and what actual promotion from like the media and a good work can do to it. And ever since the overall hype and the downtrend, all time high, but not the actual all time high, was $876, so it's currently down four times in the volume. So and the last thing of my argument for Zcash and Summary is gonna be one of the partnerships. So the developers had recently revealed that they will partner up with Starkware Industries. Stark technology from Starkware Industries is expected to increase the privacy features and scalability of the Zcash network. Uh, Professor Ali Ben Sasson and Professor Alessandro Chiesa, the founders of Starkware Industries, were also part of the Zcash development team. They will 
again join Zcash by as consultants or partners with the objective of implementing Star technology that will enhance privacy and scalability. Starkware with its Star technology is expected to bring a new angle to anonymity. And it should also be noted that Starkware Industries had accumulated 6 million investments in its seed round of financing from Bitmain, Pantera Capital, as well as Vitara and Viterian, and Fred Arison, the co-founder of Coinbase. So as you guys can see, it's been a big month for Zcash. There's a lot of news been going on. And even though the market's been absolutely boring, I'd say recently, let me know actually guys, do you guys think that we are gonna expect an old coin summer? We're gonna see a bull run though, it's gonna happen and we're gonna have a repetition of 2017, but on a much bigger scale? Or are we just gonna be sideways like this until 2019 and something's gonna happen? Let me know in the comments what you guys think, as well as subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. And follow me on Twitter at Altcoin Sarah. And follow Compass Ladies, obviously, as well. I'll catch you guys later. Bye!